guys, how's it going? And welcome to episode three of my FM21 Sheffield United save. Uh, as you know, in the last episode, we finished off the season, but we had the FA Cup final still to play. So in this episode, we'll get to see how uh, we got on with that. Also, we made some moves in the transfer market. I think we did pretty well, to be honest. Hopefully you guys will agree. Um, but yeah, let's go see how we got on, guys. So as you can see here, we did lose the final 3-0. Um, it's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> it really is. Uh, but we did we didn't play too bad. We created chances, um, but yeah, I mean Liverpool are just far superior um, in, at the end of the day. Uh, so we can watch the goals anyway. We'll we'll get to see how how they they uh, they performed. I mean after the second goal, um, sorry not after the second goal, sorry, but just before they scored the second goal, we went very attacking to try and get back into it, and then Mane scored not long after we did that. We made a change to the um, the formation as well, uh, playing like a, a four one two one two. But uh, yeah, Haaland's got the opening goal there and I didn't panic or didn't kind of change anything too drastically. But once we started attacking here at this point, Mane definitely got that uh, that winning goal. There was nothing we could do by that point. Um, and we did create a couple of chances, but most of it was just all Liverpool. Most of the highlights were all Liverpool um, and Mane. Yeah, probably man of the match performance from him. But yeah, overall, we didn't play bad. Um, you know, we, we we passed the ball around a lot better than they did if you look at the passes completion. So we, we are getting better as a team at keeping the ball. We're doing much better um, generally at putting pressure on these teams, um, especially the better teams like this. But unfortunately, it was not to be today. Um, and Hadji had the game of his life and so did Ramsdale, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it, it's just one of those. It's unfortunate. It is what it is. Um, but to, to finish in the top four, and get to the FA Cup final in your first season um, at the, the club is is I'm super super happy with that um, and how the season went anyway. So let's back out now uh, and let's go straight into the transfers. Now, this has been absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy. So if we go to the transfer history over here, go to this season. So as you know, all the transfers that we made um, last season. Um, we know them already. However, we made Connor Cody a permanent deal. So he was on loan. We made him a permanent deal for 11.75 million. I thought he had a fairly good season with us. He's a good player um, and it was too good to pass up. So this season, we got in some absolute gems. Um, so the most we've actually spent is uh, on this guy here, 24 mil for Diogo Cueros from Crystal Palace. Um, I actually think he's a really good centre back. Looking forward to seeing how he performs um going forward uh then we got charlie mcgann on a free uh not you know necessarily the best center midfielder you've ever seen in your life but far from the worst a young player if it doesn't work out which it probably won't um just judging by the fact that his mentals probably won't get strong enough it's profit at the end of the day i'm looking at it as a thing where i can get a nice young player in and then i can kind of you know um sell him on for you know big bucks hopefully um collins absolutely fantastic 19 year old amazing looking right back super fast um you can play it uh, uh center back as well so quite excited to see how he develops and how he performs um going forward uh and again on a free uh and then we get in marcel lewis uh, again on a free um already net rated nearly a million uh young lad can play uh, left wing he's a backup for that side um so really really happy with that signing um again if it doesn't work out it's one of those players that we will sell 21 year old goalkeeper can't pronounce his name not even going to attempt it decent goalkeeper to be fair if um you know we need to again doesn't work out we can sell him as well so it's just making that little bit of money out of these players should it should it not work out uh, and that's two uh, two youth goalkeepers we bought now in two seasons marcus edwards you know i forgot to mention it last time Brilliant, brilliant signing. Super, super excited to see how he performs for us. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that massively. Uh, we got Arezzo, or Arezzo, sorry, from Juventus uh, for, on loan. Again, young lad. I'm hoping he performs pretty well with me. Uh, I'm going to play him next to Brewster, I think. Uh, those two will probably start. Uh, yeah, I think I think he's going to have a, an exciting season ahead. And then we got in Guedes on loan from uh, Bayern Munich. So thank you, Ants, for that that recommendation. That was a good uh, that was a good one. Uh, super excited by him as well. So we have strengthened pretty well, I'd say. We got in a lot of free players, a lot of young players uh, that we could potentially um, sell should we need to. Um, we haven't really got rid of anybody. Only Chamber and a few people on loan, and a couple of people went out the door for free. 
Um, however, we did try to get um, one or two out. So uh, everyone wants Dewhurst, everyone wants Egan. We're not going to get rid of them just yet. Um, Kilman is a possibility. They've offered him a contract, so he's probably likely to be out the door. Uh, McCann's going back out on loan. Uh, Jack O'Connell rejected Sevilla, even though we accepted 13.5 mil, rising to 20.5 mil bid. Um, but yeah, it's it's it doesn't look likely now that Jack O'Connell's going out the door. But Kilman, on the other hand, I think will. Um, and I think you know it's unlikely that anyone else will go out the door at this point. Now I think the squad is very well balanced. Um, we will have to um, apply for this young Finnish 21 goalkeeper uh, work permit again. I think you know I don't see why we can't get it eventually. Um, but he's a good young goalkeeper, and if it doesn't work out, we'll just loan him out anyway. So yeah, I think overall decent. We did upset the squad a little bit by trying to get rid of Baldock, but we're going to keep him for another season. His contract runs out anyway next season, so we can kind of maybe get rid of him in January. If not, you know, he just leaves this big chunk of wage out of the budget and then we can kind of keep, a, you know, we've got Collins, we'll get Boggle back. So, yeah, it won't be too bad uh, for us going forward. But I, I think, yeah, I think the squad's well balanced. Uh, we've brought in um, Norrington back off loan. Now he's back, going to be around the first team this season. Um, we've got in, you know, some great, great players here and I'm really excited to see whether we can push for that top four again for two seasons in a row. Uh, one hundred percent. We need to get for me Europa bare minimum. Even though the minimum requirement next season is to finish mid table, but I really want to finish uh, top four again. But definitely in the Europa, if not. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this episode. So it's very short. It was just kind of to show you who we bought in. Um, it was also to show how the FA Cup final went. Uh, unfortunately, not in our favour, but I can't complain. The season as a whole, absolutely fantastic to get fourth place FA Cup final. And I'm delighted with the signings we've made going forward. And I cannot wait uh, to show you what happens in the next episode. We have Aston Villa as our uh, opening game. We've got a good few opening games, to be fair. Villa, Southampton, Newcastle and Wolves are our opening four. Uh, sorry, Man United five. So, yeah, not a bad start at all this 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 side, this side time round. Sorry. Um, yeah, super excited to see where we can go. So, but yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. Um, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when I'm uh, posting videos. Guys, it will mean so much to me. Uh, please, if you want to see this live, all the details from my Twitch are below. Check it out. And on to the next episode, guys. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all later. Okay, guys. So um, now we move on to Evolving Mindset. Uh, free organization. Absolutely amazing people. They really, really are. Uh, and as you can see at the top there, um, evolving mindset offer free online advice sessions from qualified mental health nurses uh, they also offer mindfulness stress anxiety management uh, mental health awareness and are also available should anyone need any support um, I wholeheartedly recommend them they're so so good um, and, and if you need the help um, you know as, as they say it's 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 okay to not be okay and, and it's so true it really is and if you are struggling out there especially in this climate Please, please get in touch with Evolving Mindset. I really do recommend them. Uh, shout out to Limo, uh, one of their mental health nurses and directors. He uh, is a streamer on Twitch. His details will be below. Um, if you feel like you want to just connect with a, a Twitch streamer um, rather than contact the organization itself, uh, please feel free to do that. Limo will 100% support you through anything. Amazing bloke, top streamer. Um, and like I say, he will really help you out a lot.